These are our hand-picked games similar to Free Fire. This doesn't use automatic matching. Instead, we hand-pick games that are good to play if you have enjoyed Free Fire. Rocket League Drive futuristic cars to score goals with an oversized football. It's another game that sounds ridiculous, but is actually a huge amount of fun to play and requires a lot of expertise. What's not obvious from the start is the level of control that can be achieved with the cars. Experts can use the car's jet-powered mechanics to fly and flip, and to dribble the ball with great skill. So much so that there are professional leagues where players compete for big prizes in front of huge crowds. Fortnite rose to popularity via its Battle Royale mode where 100 players fight against each other in online battles to the death. While they play, using shooting, evasion and building skills to survive, a storm is closing in to make the playable area shrink. This simple play mechanic creates knife-edge finales when just a few players are left in the eye of the storm, along with an ongoing commitment to adding narrative, geographical, weapon and outfits enhancements, the developer has built a huge audience of online players. Overwatch is a shooting game, but with a focus on teamwork and skill rather than violence. Along with games like Rocket League, it has professional esports competitions where players compete for prizes. There are a range of modes, each featuring team-based combat with two opposing sides of six players. Each character has a unique skill and attributes that need to be learned to be effective. Players select one of over two dozen pre-made hero characters from one of three class types. Damage offensive focused characters, tank defensive characters, support characters who can heal teammates. Splatoon is games where you shoot ink rather than bullets in this deeply skilled combat game. As well as taking out opponents, Teams work together to cover the arena with their color of ink. This not only decides who wins, but enables them to rapidly traverse areas in their color. Weapons are both varied and imaginative, ranging from paint rollers to buckets of paint and water cannon-style shotguns. For younger players, this is a good alternative to more violent shooting games like Fortnite, but every bit as skillful and exuberant. Spellbreak is an online magic battle like Fortnite, but this battle royale is fought with spells rather than guns. This means more varied gameplay and tactics as you master different elemental magic and cast powerful spell combinations. You choose from a range of different player types. Frostborn, Conduit, Pyromancer, Toxicologist, Stone Shaper, or Tempest. Each has its own benefits and drawbacks, which you can customize with talents as you grow in power. Because you can hold multiple abilities, you can blend spell combinations to your advantage. Fiery tornadoes, electrified gas clouds, and the like. Realm Royale is Battle Royale shooting game, like Fortnite. The game features multiple character classes, each with unique abilities. It's a spin-off of the The Hero-based shooting game Paladins by the same developer. Similar to other Battle Royale games, 100 players drop down and pick their desired location on a large map. They must traverse a shrinking safe zone, collecting equipment such as weapons to fight and kill other players, and aim to be the last remaining player. A crafting system allows found items to be broken down for materials to make better items or abilities at certain places found on the map. There are four classes, with each class having specific abilities that can be earned by leveling up. Play Unknown's Battlegrounds, Pub, is a battle royale shooting game where you take on 100 players. Like a more realistic version of Fortnite, you collect supplies and out-strategize your opponents to become the last person standing. As you play, you must stay in a shrinking safe zone that pushes players closer to one another and ramps up the action. If you fall outside the zone, you take damage. You only have a single life each round. When you die, you are out the game. Unlike Fortnite that has cross-play feature between systems, Pub Mobile is separate to the console and PC versions. Pub does, however, offer a wider range of items and weapons than Fortnite. Project Winter is a multiplayer survival game. Up to eight people work to survive the winter by gathering resources, repairing structures, and braving the wilderness dangers together. 
However, up to two people are traders within the group and try to dash your chances of getting out alive. The players trying to survive have objectives to complete and call in one of several rescue vehicles. To do this you need to break rocks, harvest berries and herbs, and cut down trees to earn crafting materials used to repair objectives and help keep you alive. You can find additional help in crates. Darwin Project is a battle royale game like Fortnite. Player fight to collect resources to survive and upgrade their character, as well as surviving in extreme conditions you track opponents and set traps. In addition to the 10 players is Player Director, who can trigger events like closing areas and giving advantages. Spectator players can also vote to affect the game. Darwin Project takes place in a dystopian post-apocalyptic Northern Canadian Rockies before a new ice age. It's essentially a game show but where contestants can die. Ten prisoners are spawned into a snowy map and can only choose three pieces of equipment to start with bear traps, cage traps, snowballs, hooks, gliders, and tripwires. Rocket Arena is an online shooting game where two teams of three battle each other. The twist is that you never die and lead the action. To win you use your character's unique rocket attacks and abilities to champion the other team. The game has a growing range of characters with distinctive personalities, backstories, and rivalries. Like battle game Overwatch, there's an emphasis on skill and knowledge of your character to win. The main rocket projectiles are easy to use but challenging to master. You must time dodges, lead your targets, and use items and gadgets to sway combat in your favor. You can also earn cosmetic and statistical upgrades for your character. Taking too many hits will blast you out of the arena, but not out of the action. Ride your rocket right back in, survey the scene, and return to the fight. Blood Hunt is a free-to-play battle royale game set in the streets and on the rooftops of Prague as war breaks out between the vampire sex. In teams or solo, you take the role of vampires battling opponents and other enemies trying to exterminate vampires. Play involves using ranged, melee weapons, and vampire powers to defeat other players. The twist is that you must also conceal your vampire identity from humans. If you are spotted, the game shows where you are to all the other players. Along with this, there's also a gas cloud that slowly shrinks the play area. Naraka Bladepoint is an online fighting game where 60 players take on martial arts weapons and moves to be the last person standing. It takes the battle royale game in a sword battling direction, where heroes can pull off gravity defying mobility, use vast arsenals of melee and ranged weapons as well as their own abilities. You play on your own or in teams of three, choosing your hero based on their special abilities. To get started you need to hunt down and collect different weapons, defensive and movement items. All the while you need to be careful not to be ambushed. If your favorite game is not included in this list write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel, watch our other videos, press like, turn on notifications, and you will always be aware of what to play today.